Welcome back to the second half then at uh, the Emirates for this third round FA Cup time. We've got a half time change. Tom Swahalan has been replaced at half time, possibly due to an injury he picked up in the first half. And Per Mertesacker, the German centre half, takes his place. And we're all set to go in the second half. And Spurs to get us underway then. No changes from their side. It's the same side. Mr. Coddenberg, the referee, just waiting to get us underway in the second half then. Third round of the FA Cup in association with Budweiser and we'll get underway. That's the second half about to start. Soldado and Ericsson there. So we're just waiting for everyone to be in position. Mr. Coddenberg checks his watch. And we're all set to go in the second half. So that one substitution then for Arsenal. As we get underway then in the second half, Spurs attacking the goal to our right. And what will happen in the second half? Will Spurs come back from the dead? Or will Arsenal go in front and win this third round FA Cup tie? We'll, we'll find out and see. As Adi Mayor gets on a break early doors for Tottenham. That's going to run behind for a Tottenham corner. One way out across. Adebayor really making great strides there to get to the byline. Very tough competitor. Ericsson to take. Swings it into the mix. That'll be another corner. Came off the defender last. Another dangerous corner there. Swung in. So Dardo is right there too. And it's a corner. Taken short this time to Lennon. But the referee's not happy. The corner wasn't taken properly or may have been not in the quadrant properly. Here comes the corner. Dawson is forward. Added by Ord's in there too. Here comes the corner. Ericsson again. And the boy over the top from Sardado. It's into the stand. And a goal kick to the Gunners. Tim Sherwood knows the perils of this job. The striker really should have hit the target from there. Well, we're approaching an hour gone in the game. Still close one. Arsenal still waiting for that 31st minute goal from Santi Gazzola. Rhodes having a scanter forward and was trip was he? No, says the referee. Spurs uh, fans not impressed with that. That's offside against uh, Walcott. Just a yard or two in it. Spurs really claiming a three kick a bit further up from the Walcott offside. It is Walker. Spurs can't afford to concede the next one because if they do, it's curtains. Here's Gnabry, who's been impressive in this uh, FA Cup tie. And can Walcott get in there? Walcott! Sign at him, went around the goalkeeper, and the angle was just too tight but again all credit to Serge Gnavry he's really taking those Tottenham defenders out and he went around the goalkeeper and Michael Dawson here woke up first touch did really well to buy set the two but the only trouble was the angle was against Tottenham have it again and this time Adewayo is onside and comes off Mertesacker and a corner Spurs now putting a little bit of pressure as we go into the hour mark of this third round FA Cup tie. Dawson forward from the back. Ericsson to take. Kirikesh is forward as well, number six. In the corner missed everybody. And Arsenal got it away in effect. 
So that up. Rhodes. And he's lost it. And it's Rosinski. He's won against one. Rosinski. Yes. 2 0. And surely the cup tie is Arsenal's. Thomas Rosinski. A superb piece of opportunism. Not the best moment of Danny Yarza's career by none. And just look at the joy of the Arsenal fans. 2 0. And Danny Wills will take the blame. Tim Sherwood will be livid about that. Arsenal fans are delighted. Danny Rose dawdled and dawdled and dawdled on the ball. And in the end, Rosicki took it off for him. It was like candy from a baby. And he got one on one with the goalkeeper. And he's lofted it beautifully over Hugo Lloris. And into the net. 2 0. And Arsenal now are in a commanding position in this third round FA Cup tie. And Danny Rose, he may well just put his shirt in his hand because that in his head because that is ridiculous. That was a bad mistake, terrible mistake. 2 0. And really, Tottenham have got a mountain to climb now. If they hadn't a big amount of decline already, they have a massive one now to save this third round cup tie. Away by Fabianski when Ericsson was trying to chase him. We've got a substitution. Chadley has come on for Soldado, by the way, whilst all that was going on. Now, problems mounting this time for Tim Sherwood, who's only able to defeat his Spurs manager. Carrying a caretaker capacity in the quarterfinals of the Capital One Cup against West Ham. And they're letting that one as well. But this one really mattered to Tottenham today. They've had a full strength squad. So did Arsenal. An Arsenal squad. Just too much. And it could get even better. We'll cut it through. But so too is Lloris off the line. Ericsson. Chadley. Oh, a careless ball by him. Here's Rosinski. So, Kazola and Rosinski, the scorers. Arsenal 2, Spurs 0. Surely, no coming back from this. Problems mounting for that man. And Arsene Wenger will be delighted by that. So, Arsenal proves into victory now. Against the Spurs side who have really hit their top form. Rodziski. Chadley. Oh, that would have... Well... That would have been some goal by Santi Cazzani if, he, if that one had come off. He, it was a good piece of opportunity. He dispossessed Ericsson there. And, well, it would have been some goal, but it was high wide and not so handsome. Goal kick. What a finish to this game. If Tottenham can get a goal here, we're in for a friendly finish. And it's absolutely been an informing FA Cup tie. Walker. Walker now against Rose. Walker is in agony there. Corner to Tottenham. And the referee will want to uh, check on Phil Walker here. Spurs obviously want to get on with it, but the medical team's on hand. Certainly a good challenge there, and he fell very awkwardly there. Looks like the knee was holding. 
and I think he knew straight away once he'd gone down and fallen awkwardly that, that was a tough one. This angle goes away. I think his left knee just jars there. And he just jars a tad really to the respect where he's where he's you know, he's just jarred and well Arsenal was in fact have used all three of their substitutes and concern there on Arsenal Wenger's side his team with ten minutes to go, two goals up in an FA Cup tie, but maybe about to lose one of their key men, Theo Walcott. Concern on the faces there, but these were the goals. Kazola, the first one. Terrific finish, and then the second one, great piece of anticipation there by Brzezinski, rubbing Danny Rose with the ball, and coolly sliding it past Hugo Lloris for goal number two. And Walcott now being put on the stretcher. Now we'll hope Arsenal were hoping it's not too serious, but uh, that knee certainly jarred. So Arsenal now having used all three of their substitutes, looks like they're going to play the remainder of the game with ten men. He'll be satisfied with the team's performance, and they deserve to be two 0 up. And there'll be concerns, certainly, I feel all cotton like at that. <laughs> and there's bottles and coins and all sorts, sorts of objects being thrown by the Spurs fans. Yeah, I think he's just delighted with the score, but... I mean, if, he's been, he's, uh, if he's having coins thrown at him, I think he does have a little bit of a right. Anyway, here's the corner. And hooked away to safety. <laughs> well, when you're 2-0 up, you can afford a smile and a little bit of swagger. You feel for Walker because he's injured. Even in, even though he's probably in some discomfort with his knee. Because the knee honestly did jar there. Having looked at it a couple of times on the replay. Spurs. They, both, they have tried to try and rescue this cup tie. But I fear the time has run out for them. Here's Andy Bayor. There's the cross towards Adibayor and a goal kick. And it's just not going to be their afternoon. Arsenal have a throw. <laughs> Poor old Tim Sherwood. He grew up an Arsenal fan actually. Played for Tottenham for a few years. Was head of youth development. Gnabry. Erzul to make it safe. Good save by Lloris. And that surely will be it now. Could have been number three then. But that will ensure Arsenal, as we go into five minutes of added on time, into added time, will make sure they have a victory. Good save by Lloris. In terms of possession, Arsenal deserve was certainly on top of terms of possession. Spurs had chances certainly in the first half to to take the lead, but those two goals from Kozola and indeed Rotinski was the difference and there is the whistle. The five minutes are up, the Tottenham fans have already gone, and Arsenal Wenger's side put their place in round four of this season's FA Cup in association with Budweiser. Two goals to nail the win at victory. Santi Cazano got the first one after 31 minutes. And then on the hour mark, a superb piece of opportunism from Thomas Ritzitsky. After a mistake there by Danny Rose, has put Arsenal into round four of the FA Cup. The full-time score, Arsenal 2, Tottenham 0.